Parkview Christian is the best chance for Lincoln to win a state title. Here they and are. And they've got Pawnee City on Friday. Yep, uh, beat SCM in the semifinals. Uh, Chandler Page, huge day, 36 carries, went north of 300 yards, five touchdowns. Kind of the perfect the perfect formula on that on that day with the wind blowing and how cold it was. And it, I think that's the deal where we thought Parkview could win that game, probably maybe would win that game. Chandler mm-hmm. Page knocked out early the first time they played uh, with, with Parkview leading 16 to nothing and driving uh, when he went down. So uh, a nice... Um, Revenge win yeah. for Parkview there first of all. Most importantly, it gets them to the state title game uh, this Friday in Kearney, 7 o'clock, Foster Field at UNK. Uh, come on out. If you got you got your Friday night free. That's right. Watch a little six-man. Enjoy the Kearney nightlife afterwards. I could point you to all the good spots from my college days. Or maybe not. I don't know. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it should be a fun game. This is going to be another rematch for Parkview. They played Pawnee City a few weeks ago. Um, won by a few scores. Sounds like Pawnee City's quarterback missed that game with a concussion. He should be back for this game. And, yeah, like you said, first time since 2011, Lincoln's got a chance to win a, a state championship yep. in football. Obviously the first one that's non-8-man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or non-11-man, excuse me. Um, no 8-man teams in the city, of course, and Parkview the only 6-man team. Uh, last team to win one was Lincoln Southeast. I believe they beat Omaha Burke back yep. in 2011. So chance for Parkview to end a, end a long drought here for the city and yeah it's it's a pretty cool deal you're talking about a school that that dropped into six man just a few years ago you know there were questions about you know they, they had had a couple rough years in eight man prior to that the numbers were low it, it wasn't looking good this senior class back then only had a few guys out now you fast forward to this year and, and there's a bunch of guys out in that class they've got numbers they've got depth there's obviously excitement around the program so so this is a pretty cool deal um for the Patriots. Uh, it's a pretty cool deal for that community. It's going to be a fun one Friday night. Yeah, you're talking about a school that was 2-6 and six in 2019 in eight-man. They dropped down, and the past couple of years have kind of just been a bit of a rebuild for them, and now they've got the guys. I mean, you look at their schedule, big lead against SEM, as we've said at the beginning of the year. Chandler Page goes out. They don't lose after that. Yep. And And – you know, they, they face off again. We get our question answered of, well, what if he played the entire game? Well, here's what happens if he plays the entire game. <laughs> yep. So that'll be a really interesting matchup. I love six-man football. So no matter who the two teams were going to be, I, <laughs> I, I would be tuned in. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, what Parkview can do. You want to give a uh, prediction on this one? Should we do predictions? I feel like we have to go Parkview just to, just to stand by our take. I think you're right, yeah. But... It'll be interesting to see what Pawnee City has done. Again, maybe you know they didn't have their quarterback the first time they played. And, and, ta- and they've bowled through, you know, D6. They, they've bowled through the tougher half of the bracket, you could yeah. argue. Beat Potter Dix, which was everybody's prohibitive favorite uh, in, the, in the quarterfinals. Beat Arthur County, who was number two all season behind Potter Dix uh, in the semifinals. And now here they are in the finals. So, yeah, this, is, we're, this isn't going to be Parkview in a walkover by any means, I don't right. think. This, this is going to be a completely different game from the first time these guys played. But, yeah. We said it from the beginning of the year, got to stick with Parkview right now, I think. Yeah, and again, anything can happen. It's, <laughs> it's November, it's state title games, but I, I'm excited to see how, how Parkview does under the lights.